year everybody, it's the 1st of January 2015, I haven't made any videos for YouTube for a long long time and seeing as though um, the job I'm working on at the moment is finishing very shortly in about two or three weeks I thought I'd better get some footage and show you what I'm doing. So this is what I've been doing uh, since May this year, uh, sorry since May 2014. I'm actually working for Cube Logistics and driving these Western Star B double side tippers. Um, I'll tell you more about the side tippers later on. But uh, yeah, what I'm doing is carting raw sugar from the Mossman and Gordon Vale sugar mills in North Queensland to these massive big sheds here. Uh, four and a half acres each of these sheds are. And we bring the raw sugar from the sugar mills to put into storage here to be then uh, put on ships and exported. So uh, let's go for a drive. I've just started. Uh, heading for Mossman and uh, yeah, we'll head off. Jump into my dirty old Western Star and uh, go for a drive. It uh, takes about an hour and 15 minutes to drive up to Mossman and then once we get there it only takes about six to seven minutes to load 40 tonne of raw sugar onto these uh, trucks and then uh, once I've done that then uh, it's about an hour and 20 minutes drive so it's only about five minutes difference loaded and empty but Quite a nice drive up there. I'll uh, set the camera up, do a bit of a time lapse heading up there and uh, show you just how nice a drive I get to do three times a day. Rightio, we'll see you uh, in Mossman. Well, we've arrived at the mill and uh, just driving in underneath the hopper here as you can see. This particular hopper only holds about 800 tonne of sugar, which is about 20 loads. Uh, we sort of got to stay on top of it and uh, yeah, get it down a bit. So I'll just put the truck into position underneath these uh, hopper doors, which there are three of, and then uh, I'll show you how we load. So I've positioned the truck underneath the hopper doors here. We're going to load the front trailer first, which actually takes three or two and a bit dumps out of two, uh, all three of the doors. So we'll walk up our little steps here up to the platform above the truck and trailers. Turn our control panel on and there's the controls for the three doors open and close buttons. So we'll press a button and see what happens. Out comes the sugar as I said it only takes about six minutes to load 40 tonne it's pretty bloody quick. Um, I can open two doors at a time if I want when I'm loading the trucks but it's just easier and safer if you only do one at a time so you don't uh, so you don't have an accidental spill trying to keep an eye on two sugar flows instead of only one. I've actually just slowed this down a little bit so I can trickle it in and get it a bit neater. But there you go, that's six tonne of sugar basically, uh, just like that. Same thing, just trickling it in because it's not going in even. Don't want to spill it over. And there we go. I don't know how long that took, but that's another six tons. So we've only just got a little bit of a hollow in the front there. So I've just got to move the truck forward about three feet and fill it up. And then we can pull forward and do the B trailer. And as I said, I'll tell you a bit more about these side tippers when we get back to the depot. But these are unusual side tippers because they're like a normal end tipper. The, tailgates or the doors actually hinge from the top and swing out from the bottom so a little bit different to a normal side tip but that's for sure. I only have to move the truck forward a fraction about a uh, meter and a half that's it we'll go up fill up the rest of the trailer Coming up. 
truck will trigger that and it'll let the computer inside the way bridge in the terminal know that there's a truck outside waiting to come in and then uh, once the computer wants me to go in it'll give me a green light the, red, the light up there on the entrance will turn from red to green and we'll be all good to go and uh, yeah I'll get a video of us uh, unloading and show you what it looks like so I take the swipe card here which I put in the computer you know, in the reader up at uh, Mossman it into the card reader there and uh, read the information. We aim for 60 ton as our perfect load and I see the bridge uh, there it's uh, between 59.98 and 60 so I'm only 20 kilos out so that's about as perfect as you can get and as you can see here these uh, flaps here have come down across the side of the trailer once it's recorded the weight of the truck then, uh, then I can tip and get a video of in the mirror. Pretty much it. And then we put the gyms back down, lock the doors. It's all done from inside the control, uh, inside the cab here. There's all controls, uh, let to go the high volley. So uh, yeah. And then we uh, once we get the clearance to go, we'll get a green light up there, and we're right to drive off the bridge. Simple as that. Now let's lock the doors. Oh well, we'll have to wait till we get out the road a bit and get out and close them. There we go. Got a green light, so we we'll like to travel out very slowly. And now we're uh, we're good to go. Lock the doors and go do another round. When I pull up at Mossman for smoke, though, I'll actually. Um, I'll do a bit of video of the truck and show you what sort of truck it is, what engine, all that sort of stuff. And uh, tell you a little bit more about how it all works. So uh, we'll see you in about an uh, hour and a half. Well, that's it. I've just unloaded my first load for the day. Um, it was actually a light one. I only had um, 38 tonne of sugar. I was about two tonne light, uh, according to the scales. Uh, this over here is just the, the ship loading facility, the gantry crane they use the conveyor belt system over here uh, that they use to load the sugar out of the sheds as you can see here's the sheds over here um, a bit of reflection there at the moment off the screen but yeah so the sugar when we uh, tip it into the hopper gets transferred by conveyor belt into these sheds here there's two of them and as I said before, these uh, these particular sheds are uh, four and a half acres each in area. The floor area of them is four and a half acres. They're over 250 metres long and about 50 metres wide, so they're pretty bloody big. And as you can see, the floor's actually raised off the ground. They're all up on pylons and that allows the conveyor belt system underneath to retrieve the sugar through the floor and send it up to the ships. So, turn around and do it all again. Two more loads yet before the night's over. Well, g'day everybody. Here I am, pulled up for smoke out at the mill. As I said, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about the, uh, the trucks we're driving here. This is a 2007 model uh, Western Star, fitted with a Detroit Series 60, rated at 500 horsepower, 18-speed double overdrive. And if I have a look here, 
it'll actually tell me the model number. It is a 4800FX, uh, 4617ER send. And yeah, these are our trucks, these are our trailers. Side tippers built by Smith, Australian made trailers. And uh, the doors on them, uh, you can't really see, but the locking mechanisms on the doors, they have a bar, a big long bar that runs the full length of the trailer. Uh, that slides back as a forward like this and it's operated by this hydraulic cylinder which pushes it and up underneath it's got like wedges uh, two triangular wedges where they wedge into one another and that's what pulls the door closed and locks it so yeah that's our trailers and there's the tarps as I said they're just pneumatically controlled they just a, that arm just swings straight across like that and opens a, a plastic flap on top to keep the rain out We'll jump up in the cab and I'll show you the controls for the actual trailers for the hydraulics. Start her up and get the aircon going. That's one thing I need to do. Now I'll just turn that aircon down a bit so it doesn't drown out the camera. So these are our controls um, for the actual trailers. Uh, the PTO on these is a live drive so you don't have to push the clutch in. You can just flick the button in. Got a big red warning light there to know that we've got the PTO in. And then yeah, our controls here will open our tarp on the A trailer. And there it goes. Oh. And open the B trailer tarp. So basically once we've loaded, we don't have to do anything except close the, uh, the tarps again. And then uh, yeah, once we get down to the depot, to the terminal to unload, we put the PTO in. Um, these are the locks for the doors to lock and unlock them and then the hoists it's all electric over um sorry electric over hydraulic uh, and yeah not a problem so we've already uh, I've already showed you loading up and that so I won't worry about doing another video of that but yeah to sort of tell you a little bit more about the truck so it's basically just a standard old Western Star day cab nothing special um, yeah, they go all right for what they do, for pulling 60 ton. As long as the aircon works, that's the main thing up here in the tropics because at the moment it's 100% humidity. As you can see, rain all over windows. It's been raining all day. Uh, about 30 degrees and 100% humidity and just fucking terrible conditions. So, but yeah, I'll go and get a load of sugar and uh, knock off early tonight. I'll only be doing two runs because there's not a lot up here, so. Uh, 